Snow Tracks is sponsored by Ski-Doo. Yamaha Snowmobiles. Conquer Snow. And by FXR Racing. Full Throttle Addiction. There's one thing each member of the crew here at Snow Tracks has that they value more than anything else. Our credibility. Our opinions can't be bought, and when we say we ride what we test, we mean it. It's for this reason we wait till the end of the year to reveal our Snow Tracks Real World Sled of the Year. This information has to be based on credible experience, and the only way to gather that experience is time in the saddle. Lots of it. Last season, the crew was very conflicted about what sled was truly the best of the best. There's so many great choices, and the final decision eventually came down to just little details and personal preferences. This year, the competition was equally as strong. In fact, every sled that we tested this year was improved over last year's version. But the truth is, one of them stood out from among the crowd. Our four finalists for this season's Sled of the Year showdown really highlight the attributes that make for a great sled. Power, ride quality, and handling and each has its own set of strengths and weaknesses. They are the Yamaha SR Viper XTX, the Polaris Axis Pro S Switchback 800, Skidoo's 800 Renegade XRS, and Articat's XF6000 Snow Pro. Our Yamaha SR Viper XTX has been a fun sled this year. It's comfortable, has the absolute best four-stroke motor in the business, and it just plain looks awesome. Yamaha gets big bonus marks in the style and power departments. Our XTX package comes equipped with a 141-inch Camoplast Cobra track with a 1.6-inch lug. While perhaps a bit tall for daily riding, there's no question this extra lug helps improve the XTX's off-trail capabilities. Ergonomically, the Viper is comfortable enough and hasn't left anybody complaining about anything besides its nearly non-existent windshield. The 1049cc triple that sits under the hood growls like a tiger and lets you know that there's plenty of torque behind that right throttle thumb. Unfortunately, things we have been commenting on for a while are still irritating us today. Overly stiff suspension, lazy backshift, and vague steering mean that we have to fiddle with these sleds to get them to perform the way we know they should. Skidoo's 2015 Renegade XRS 800 E-Tech is better than it's ever been with its new RAS2 front end. This setup dramatically improves front end stability on the trail, which results in a huge increase in overall rider confidence. Pair the handling improvements of the RAS2 front end with the already unbelievable ride of what we feel is the industry's best rear suspension, the R-Motion, and you've got a sled that will exceed the expectations of almost any rider. If there's one thing that we have trouble rationalizing with the XRS, it's got to be value. This is the most expensive sled in this category, and even though Skidoo has a great reputation for fit and finish, given all of its competition, we do wonder if you're actually getting more for your money. The maxed out KYB piggyback shocks found on the front of the XRS and the R-Motion's rapid adjust system on the tunnel provides maximum adjustability with minimum effort. The 137-inch R-Motion rear skid is wrapped in a 1.5-inch Camoplast ripsaw that'll pretty much give you traction anywhere you look for it on the trail, and when you take it off trail, it's still extremely capable. Ergonomically, the XRS is comfortable for most and has all the features you'd expect to find on a high-end model Skidoo. It's not quite a one-size-fits-all that's universally comfy for everyone, though. The 2015 XRS with its RAS2 front end handles every bit as precisely as it did last year, it's just far less nervous in a straight line. We definitely like it, and until we rode it back to back with its competition, we really didn't have anything negative to say about it. Snow Tracks is sponsored by snowmobileinquebec.com. This winter, experience snowmobile heaven. Arctic Cat won the Snow Tracks Real World Sled of the Year last season with its El Tigre 6000. Everyone who rode that sled loved it except for one detail, suspension plushness. <laughs> this season, Arctic Cat came to the party with a whole new shock valving package and the results are astounding. Saying it's a big improvement is simply not adequate. Pair the improved ride this season with the XF chassis and track and you've got a 6000 that is even more desirable. 
We've had no issues with our 6000 XF. Even after a few thousand miles, it's been bulletproof. It's good on gas, good on oil, runs clean, and has one of the most inspiring power bands of any two-stroke in the industry. Rider positioning on the 6000 XF is the same as any other Pro Cross Cat. We like everything about it, except for the sharp angle on the trailing edge of the side panel. It digs into our knees when we're really hanging it out in a corner. The extra traction offered by the XF's 137-inch ripsaw with its 125-inch lugs is borderline for a sled listed as a crossover. It's a perfect setup for trail riding, but really isn't going to impress anyone venturing off of the hard pack. What's not to love about the XF? There are a few things. We've already mentioned the side panels, and we really don't like high-end sleds that have no compression adjustability on the shock package. And we are so super done with that hood thong thing that Arctic Cat calls a windshield. It's sexy, but it sure don't do much. The biggest news in the industry this season was without a doubt the Polaris Axis. Polaris claims it's 97% new, and we see no reason to argue. There's no doubt it's ultra light, and I don't think anyone saw this 800 power plant coming but you sure can't miss it as it blows by you on the lake. We had a number of Axis models in the fleet this winter and it became evident very early on that the favorite was definitely the Switchback Pro S 800. What makes it so desirable? First off, it's easy to ride. In fact, it's so easy to go fast on this sled, it's almost like you're cheating. Simply sit forward on the seat and lean your body to the side in a corner and it goes exactly where you point it. On the straights, just shift your weight back a few inches to get the skis light for maximum acceleration. It's almost too easy, and it's definitely too much fun. Is the rear end of the axis as good as the industry leading arm motion? No, it's not, but it ain't far off. A properly tuned axis switchback rear end does a great job of making stutter bumps and mid-size moguls disappear, and there isn't a single person on the crew who would trade the incredible ride and handling of the axis front end for any other rear suspension in the industry. Its walker piggybacks can be set from ultra soft to ultra stiff. The front bulkhead will take abuse, and the Polaris IFS delivers ride and handling characteristics that are absolutely second to none. Ergonomically, this sled seems to be a one-size-fits-all type ride. Big guys, little guys, and everyone in between came away from the axis gushing about how comfortable it was. Its flat seat may seem strange to look at, but the on-center riding stance the seat provides helps keep the sled going in the direction you point it. The switchback rear end is wrapped in 137 inch 1.25 lug camoplast ripsaw too, and it's a great example of what a crossover sled isn't. Sure, it's got a longer track, but this sled does not shine off trail as bright as it does on the trail, and the whole crew here agrees, this is a performance trail sled, not a crossover. Once that's understood, this track setup is fantastic. We can't finish our synopsis of the Switchback 800 without talking about the power plant under the hood. This new 800 is definitely the standout motor of this season. The significant changes Polaris made to this 800 have pushed it to the front of the pack in terms of horsepower and, in turn, top speed. It's also snappier and feels lighter because it is. It's good on gas and oil, and it sounds great. Now it's time to ask the most important question of all. If these four sleds represent our favorite picks from each manufacturer, which one of these four sleds is the best? And I think you probably already have an idea of what we're going to say. The Yamaha Viper is a good sled, but it's just not there yet and has to be eliminated first. The Skidoo is awesome, no question, in countless ways, but we're getting tired of the front end ride and bent bulkheads. The 800 d Tech Mill, while still impressive, just doesn't have the same wow factor it did a few seasons ago. This leaves us questioning whether or not, in paying more for a Skidoo, are you actually getting better value? comes down to Arctic Cat's XF6000 Snow Pro and Polaris's Axis Pro S Switchback 800. Both of them impress us every single time that we squeeze the trigger. Both of them are extremely fun to ride, they both look great, and we've had no problems with either of them the entire season. But the results are undeniable. Every person who rode the Axis Pro S Switchback 800 loved it. Even people loyal to other brands agreed it was the most comfortable, offered the easiest handling, the best front end ride, and a more than acceptable rear end ride. It has the coolest gauge package ever, and the new switch gear works every bit as good as we hoped it would. And it's a great deal. 
The truth is, it was actually pretty easy this season to pick Polaris's Axis Switchback Pro S as our real-world sled of the year because it outperformed its competition in nearly every category. So congratulations to Polaris for a stellar first year with the Axis and for its new title as the Snowtrax real-world sled of the year. The Snowtrax Rad Award stands for Revolutionary Advanced Design and is meant to give credit to a company or product that's pushing the technological boundaries and testing the limits of what we consider to be a modern snowmobile. This season, there certainly is lots to talk about, and there have been some impressive advancements in snowmobile design on a number of fronts, but there's one we feel addresses the demands of the market better than any other. Yamaha is a self-professed motor company first. They know power plants. And when you take a look at the engine technology they've pioneered in the snowmobile industry, that's a pretty hard statement to argue. This season, they brought Trail Rider something no one else ever has, an aftermarket turbo kit that can be purchased through the Yamaha parts catalog, installed by your dealer, and won't void your warranty. People love turbos, we love turbos. A nicely boosted four stroke is a thing of beauty, but few manufacturers even offer them and none allow the consumer to add one after the fact. We think Yamaha's MPI Trail Turbo Kit is a huge step forward in factory authorized performance customization and we think if anything ever has been, this season Yamaha's MPI Trail Turbo Kit is truly rad. So we're pleased to announce that Yamaha with their MPI Trail Turbo Kit is the recipient of Snowtrax TV's 2015 Rad Award. Closed captioning of Snow Tracks is sponsored by Triton Trailers, the cornerstone of every adventure. Over the past three weeks, I've been building up custom Arctic Cat sleds for the Arctic Cat Dream Ride giveaway. And this week, I get to finish it all off with a sweet 2015 Arctic Cat M8000 Limited. The Dream Ride giveaway offers you so much more than just a sweet new sled with incredibly cool accessories. It gives two separate people the chance to each win not just a sled built for the trails or the mountains, but also an all expenses paid destination ride with the crew from Snow Tracks as well as Arctic Cat celebrity riders. Oh, and you're going to be featured in Super Tracks magazine as well as on Snow Tracks TV. Yep, this is epic. To win, you must enter, and to enter you need two things, a ballot from Supertracks Magazine and an Arctic Cat dealership anywhere in North America to drop that ballot off to. We started out by building up one for the trails, a beautiful new 2015 Arctic Cat XF8000 Limited, and man did we throw some cool parts on it, all from the Arctic Cat online parts catalog. Last week we switched gears and started in to our equally as cool 2015 M8000 Limited. And by the time we were done, the front end not only had sweet new 2016 geometry and parts, it had a totally trick graphics wrap, sweet vented hood panels, trick float 3 evals, and a matching set of white CNA Pro BX skis. And this week, I've got so much more to do. For the most part, this week is going to focus on the rear of the sled pretty much from the handlebars on back. I've got a couple of aluminum pieces right up front that are not only going to drop weight, they're going to increase functionality of this sled. And they look really cool. The stock running boards are super nice. They let lots of snow out, but they aren't the pro climb boards. These ultra lightweight boards are so minimal, you have to check twice to make sure that there is anything there. Thanks to the cool matching green coloration, you're not only going to be gripping better and clearing snow, you'll be looking cool too. Matching the Proclime rear boards is the Proclime rear bumper. And while this bumper does require some minor alterations to work with these boards, it's going to be a pretty cool piece once it's installed. Not only does it offer a built-in pop plate that eliminates the need for a rack, it also has a huge rear grab bar that's way easier to pull from. This whole setup weighs in at only 5.25 pounds and is unmatched in function and style. Before I jump into the job of taking out the skid frame and the track, there's a couple more pieces that I'd like to touch up, starting at the rear of the sled. A brand new matching green Arctic snow flap will look much better than the standard black. Up front, we're going to ditch the stock windshield for a black and chrome fly screen because honestly, we're at altitude. Who needs a big windshield? The recoil handle? Yeah, we want the aluminum one too. You got it. Tank grips like we put on the XF are really nice for when you need some extra knee traction. And finally out back, we've got the 2.5 gallon spare can as well as the Articat rack strap because you can never have enough gas. And finally, we have the biggest changes yet. The track and rear skid both need to come out so that 2016 parts can go back in. 
All 2016 parts will be going back into the rear skid frame. New rails, new torque arm, the whole nine yards. And we have an extra cool set of Fox floats for both the front and rear arm. The rear arm is Kashima coated, but both of these floats are Evols. The stock sliders are going out as well in exchange for a set of the performance wear strips with DuPont Vespal inserts, which increase durability and keep the track running truer. And the track is precisely what we have to put back in. This is a power claw three inch lug with a three inch pitch and it is as impressive on the mountain as it is in the dealer showroom floor. Replacing the old 2.6 for this beautiful new 3.0 brings us into 2016 with this M8000. Getting our rear skid lined up and reinstalled, the finishing touch is to add a set of nice white rear idler wheels to give us a little better track alignment and spread the load across our rear axle. And with that, our M8000 Limited is completely tricked out. I hope you've enjoyed watching me build up the XF8000 Limited and this M8000 Limited Arctic Cat. But more importantly, I hope it's made you want to win them. So get yourself a ballot from Supertracks Magazine, head to your local Arctic Cat dealership, and enter the draw. Because this is the Arctic Cat Dream Ride giveaway, and you could win it. Test Ride is sponsored by Princess Auto. The unique world of equipment, tools, and more. Today on Test Ride, we're going to take one more look at what has become the most successful selling four-stroke engine in the snowmobile industry, Skidoo's Fortec 1200. The Fortec 1200 motor has risen to the top of the sales charts since its intro in model year 2009. Skidoo has been under significant four-stroke pressure from both Yamaha and Arctic Cat the past two seasons with the introduction of the 1049cc triple cylinder 130 horsepower Yamaha in both the Viper and Arctic Cat's ZRs, XFs, and M-Series models. Skidoo has never been content to sit still in the face of competition. However, we've been wondering when Valcor would fight back against the increasing popularity of the impressive 1049 Yama Triple. Truth is, this Fortec powered Renegade is a pretty tough act to follow. I'll only lightly expound on how good its 137-inch R-Motion rides and its newly updated RAS2 front end handles. Simply put, this is an excellent riding and handling snowmobile, period. Make no mistake about it, our motion still sets the standard for rear suspension ride quality, and RAS2 has brought Skidoo's handling right back into the mainstream of the business with a more settled on center feel and an extremely flat cornering demeanor. The entire Renegade package exudes quality from the ski tips to the snow flap. Ergos are near perfect, switch gear is top notch, and instrumentation on the TNT version is outstanding. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? So what's not to like? Well, there's a couple things, and we'll throw this one out there first. Since its introduction, the 1200 Fortec has been housed in this square, dated, and somewhat bulky XR bodywork package. It's not ugly, it's just too familiar. Skidoo has wisely chosen to repackage the Fortec 1200 mil for model year 2016 in slightly tweaked XS clothes. The large-ish engine required the XS side panels be widened about an inch, and a new, smaller silencer was tooled to make everything fit under the XS smaller frontal area. The result is a fresh new look and a slightly more throaty exhaust note for model year 16. Good moves by Skidoo, and not a minute too soon. Here's our second gripe, and we're only going to say this once. Throttle lag. In fact, we're going to rebrand this expression and begin referring to it as Delayed Throttle Pickup, or DTPU. You see, whenever we suggest the Fortec 1200 has DTPU, we get a mountain of hate mail from yellow underwears claiming we don't know what we're talking about. In an effort to avoid clogging up bandwidth at Snowtrack Supertrack's world headquarters from rabid duites, we present this evidence. Yes, O oh zealous Skidoo files, for model year 16, Skidoo has fitted the 1200 Fortec with intelligent throttle control in an effort to reduce annoying delayed throttle pickup. If you're like us and reeling at this admission, you'll be happy to know that the addition of intelligent throttle control to the 1200 Fortec engine goes a long way to reducing DTPU, or delayed throttle pickup. As an added bonus, Intelligent Throttle Control offers three selectable modes of throttle modulation. It is a testament to Skidoo's engineering expertise that the Fortec 1200 powered Renegade 
is such a good snowmobile in model year 2015. This sled performs at a level much more impressive than its claimed 129 horsepower would indicate. This 137-inch Renegade pulls impressive top end down Kevlar Lake and flat out aces the 1049 Yamaha triple in either Arctic Cat or Viper Skin for big digit top end lake speed. The 1049 Yamaha still holds court over the 1200 Fortec in throttle response, smooth and linear throttle modulation, and a manly and satisfying exhaust note when you jiggle the loud handle. Still, the fully integrated feel of the Renegade Fortec 1200 as a complete package is impressive. A day-long ride on rough trails or a quick pull in the twisties will convince you Skidoo knows how to build snowmobiles. The sled absolutely shines the harder you ride it and the more miles you log on the odometer. Truthfully, there may not be a better riding sled in the industry right now. I am not the four-stroke guy at Super Tracks and Snow Tracks. So please don't tell anybody I said this, but as a result of the changes made for model year 2016 to this already impressive model year 2015 snowmobile, I can honestly say I like the Fortec Renegade. And that is big news. Snow Tracks has been sponsored by Polaris Terrain Domination. Arctic Cat, share our passion. And by Go Ride Ontario, yours to discover. If you like this video, post a comment and tell us what you think. Then click on this link to subscribe to Snowtracks TV here on the YouTube channel.